Hi everybody, it's almost five o'clock and it's time for total body strength. Just checking my lighting here. I'm trying to decide where the best lighting is. I guess it's right there. There it is. It's so funny this time of day. The lighting it changes everywhere, whether you're outside or inside. It just changes dramatically over like five or ten minutes. So at any rate, I'm Carrie McElroy. This is Total Body Strength. We got about five, well, actually about three minutes or so. So Hopefully we'll see some folks logging on. Um, today I'm going to use a couple of different things. So as always, you should probably have water. You should probably have a towel. Uh, I'm going to use, well, you always need some lightweight. So I'm going to start with, um, well, we're going to use really lightweights because we're going to do something called rotator raises today. So that's going to be a little bit different for the shoulder. we got four blocks of work like we normally do. I'm going to keep it to, try to keep it to a half an hour again. I know people like to get out and walk. Um, you know, it's a week before um, a, a traditional religious holiday weekend, Easter, if you celebrate Easter. So um, so you probably need the usual something really, really light for those rotator raises. Something maybe a little bit heavier. We're going to do some flies. And if you have, if you have a resistance ball, that would be great. Okay. So I'm going to use a sand-filled ballast ball that I had at home. Um, I finally was able to blow this one up. So actually, this is another one that I had. So it's down in the basement. So... Um, so if you have a resistance ball, if you don't, that's okay. You can, you, you can just be right down on the ground. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to do my crunches, my last block of work. So um, we'll do some crunches with that, and we're going to do some uh, ball rolls, which are kind of like, if you've trained with me before, it's kind of like that little wheel with the two little uh, handles that you roll forward with. We're going to use the ball and create that same thing, okay? So my clock's a little fast. Yeah, it's actually 4.58, so we have a little bit of time. I'm going to grab some water. So I hope your week's going well. I've had a busy day today. Um, I had a faculty meeting, so um, I ran into the house and, um, and uh, hello, who, who, who's out there saying hello? <laughs> Should we tag some friends? Let's see. Uh, let's see. What else can we tag? We've got tons of people here. Let's see. We'll tag Christine, Tammy, Donna, my sister. Oh, let's tag Carrie, San. Beautiful. Let's see who else we can tag. Hmm. <laughs> Corin. Lots of people who are always with me here. Kay. Bob. Let's see. Who else? Oh, Lisa. I haven't seen her in a while. We'll tag Mary. Hmm. Oh, we'll tag Vivian. Mary. There we go. Let's see. Cynthia. Whoops. Whoopsie. Let's see. Oh, Lisa May. We haven't heard seen her in a while. Let's see, we're going to tag a lot of people today. Woohoo! <laughs> Pat Taylor, who won't do the workout. She's a riot. There we go. Oh, let's tag her. Oh, there we go. What do we got? We got all kinds of people. I'm just going to tag people, all kinds of people. Hopefully, they'll jump on with us. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. I'm just tagging people I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> People are probably having supper. Mm. All right, let's see what we can get. There we go. We just, we tagged a bunch of people. How's that? Okay. <laughs> I hope Carrie's watching. Tammy, how'd you make out with your um, your grocery run? I hope you did okay. That was funny. <laughs> that's It's a neat, I know what you were doing. That was, that's a neat um, thing to do. I had a client who did that in Norton. And uh, she did pretty well, but she devoted the entire Sunday to it. Like she would get up at you know seven o'clock in the morning, wait to see who needed the orders, and then work till like eight o'clock at night. She was a student at the time, so um, I hope it worked out okay for you. Hi, Carrie Delimos. How are you? Nice to see you. All right, I see four people out there. Um, it's just about five o'clock. So again, just to reiterate, you probably need some heavy weights, some light weights, and if you have a resistance ball, that would be great too. So it's starting to get really nice out. So I know that. Um, you know, folks are kind of out and about doing their own thing. So um, I'll keep it really quick, I promise, and uh, off you go. So if you're just joining me or if you're watching the video after the fact, thanks so much for watching me. I'm Kerry McElroy. This is Total Body Strength. You're watching YMCA Without Walls. And actually, before I forget, the site um, is going to be changing to something called YCloud, so stay tuned. So actually, this is going to be one of my only last three classes. So I'm going to teach today, and then I think April, what is it, might be the April 6th, I guess? No. April 7th. No, no, April 6th is a Tuesday. And then, hi, Jeannie. And then I'm going to teach the 13th, I believe, and then that'll be it. So um, I won't teach during April vacation and, 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 you know, watch for more details. I don't know a whole lot about why cloud, um, 
truly they're going to let you know let us know um, how you can transition to YCloud. Okay, um, so I guess we're going to be using a different format instead of just an open Facebook format. So so we hope you'll join us with um, YCloud. It's coming at us. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> Tammy. Good luck with that. It actually can can be very uh, kind of an awesome thing. Hi, Bob. How are you? Um, Ray, how are you? Um, so again, it can be an awesome thing if, if you, uh, if you're fast and you're right, you get the right items. I know it's crazy. Bob, thanks so much for joining me. Jeannie, Tammy, my, my regular. So, all right. So if you just, if you're just jumping on now, or if you are watching me after the fact, you should have something light, something heavy and a resistance ball. If you have it, if you don't, that's okay. You know, I always give options. We're going to start off with, we've got four blocks of work. The first block is legs and push-ups and I have to tell you yesterday I did legs and I hadn't really done legs in a while but did a lot of walking and jogging light jogging because I have plantar fasciitis um, and biking a little bit um, recumbent biking but I hadn't really done legs and I oh my god I didn't even think I did a hard workout man am I sore today so I've just got one move for legs today okay so if you want more legs maybe look at some of my other uh, workouts um, so side to side squats and push-ups are the first moves and off we go so I'm just gonna Set this, okay, and again, the lighting was better here, so I'm sorry. And Jeannie, I shut my TV off, okay, so you're not gonna see, <laughs> I felt bad. You're not gonna see it in the mirror today, okay? All right, so here you go. So we're doing side to side squats. I'm just gonna move this for a minute. Now, by all means, I know of Corin Sostek, if you're out there, and I know you are sometimes, you can grab dumbbells if you'd like. So I'll grab some dumbbells, although God knows why, I don't know, because my legs are so sore. We're gonna do wide squats. So we're gonna step to the left, Okay, and I'm just going to hold my dumbbells in front of me. You can hold them up here, whatever you want to do. You can use, you can keep the dumbbell right in front of you and do a front, a front load. Actually, I think I'll do that. That makes more sense. So we're going to step, step in, step wide to the other side. Okay, step in, step wide to the other side. So what's happening with this wide squat here? Okay, we're just going to try to so get 10 on each side. So what's happening is that as you turn your toes out and get your heels maybe slightly outside your hips, you're really getting a little bit more of the glutes into the engagement. Even though uh, normally a squat is a glute engagement anyway, okay? It's normally a glute engagement. This just gives you a little bit wider. Now, you don't want to go too wide, but you want your knees to track out toward the big toes, okay? We're almost done here. So just step and step. Step to the center, step wide. So why do I have a plate in my hands? You don't need to have a plate. It just gives you that front counterbalance so you have to scoop back with your hips here's the side view okay so we step out you really have to step back step in okay really forces you to sit back into the chair that's not there okay a couple more we get seven people out there thanks so much all right beautiful we're going to go right to our push-ups so i'm just going to bring this down just a little bit so if you can just a regular old push-up and again, you know me, you can do the push-ups anywhere you want. So we're gonna, we're gonna move the legs, move the upper back. Kayla, how are you? So we start push-ups, prayer position, push onto the palms, feel the upper um, pecs engage and transfer that to the floor or the coffee table or the wall or a TRX strap if Jess Miller's out there, okay? That's what you need to do. Okay, all right, here we go. So hopefully you guys can see me, yep. So we're coming here and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure that my Wrists are right underneath my elbows. Let's see if we can just get a quick 10 push-ups. Okay, so it's just going to be 10, 10, 10, 10. Boom, pushing through the palms, making sure the nipple line is right in line with the thumbs when you're down. Okay, there's just a couple more. I don't know if that was 10. I felt like about 10. Boom. Okay, we're standing back up. We're going to do our wide squats. There we go. Again. Keep it going. Now again, option, plate. If you don't need the plate load, that's fine. Phyllis Chase, how are you? Long time to see from our barbell day. So we're starting with our wide squat, left squat to the center, wide squat. So look at how I'm kind of, I've, I've set my heels out a little wider in the squat. Now if that the stepping creates too much of an uh, ACL issue or it's too much lateral motion, just stay wide. Here's an option, okay? Bring the heels Load to explode, heel toe out, heel toe out, turn the toes, and just stay in a wide squat. That's fine too, okay? We're going to count to 20 that way, okay? Because otherwise I was stepping wide and counting to 10 on each side, okay? 
Boom. So step, step Y. If the stepping is too much for you, the stepping is what engages the glutes a little bit more. Donna, how are you? No worries. I was just tagging people. I asked me to tag people. So I hope you're doing better, my friend. Love you, okay? So here you go. Down. And again, the step gets a little bit more of upper glute engagement than just a static squat wide will give you, okay? So if that's amenable to you and you can do that wide squat, the step motion really, you have to, you decelerate by using the upper glutes, okay? All right. By decelerate, I mean as you, you know, there's a little force that brings you one way or the other, and the deceleration, the stopping, okay, I kind of made that look really histrionic, is, is the upper glutes and the inner thighs of the other leg, okay? So these are all muscles that we use for stability. Um, so, so important. We don't realize that, right? Okay, coming on down. If you've ever pulled a hamstring or strain the sartorius, your inner thigh, <laughs> you know how important those stability muscles are, the, um, the core muscles, okay? All right, here we go. So we're back in for um, push-ups, pressing, okay? Open right here. And again, you don't need any weights here because we're going to go to flies in a minute. So we're, we're making sure our elbows are right underneath, or our wrists are right underneath our elbows, pushing nice and close. And really feel the big muscles engage here, okay? Ooh, push. Again, try to keep your head nice and straight. Just making sure you guys can see me. I hope so, okay? Let me know if you can't see me. Jeannie, I'm sorry I won't be able to watch the news during my show. <laughs> I had, oh my God, it was so funny last week. All right, coming back up. Here's the last set now, okay? And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep two plates in my hands this time, okay? And I'm going to start wide and come across. So now I'm 20 pounds heavier, right? With these two, I've got two tens. So we just, just that, that little step to the side. And again, option, double, you know, just stay in a static squat is fine too. If the side to side motion is not working for you, okay? And this should definitely get your heart rate going. Again, lift the chest a little bit, sit the hips back, working on the core stabilizer muscles here. We get six people with me still. So excited. Thank you so much. I'm always grateful for folks who watch during the live and folks who watch after the fact. Thank you so much. Okay, beautiful. Lastly, my heart's beating. Whew. Lastly, let's come on down. Hey, Rick Sariva, how are you? Long time no see, my friend. Thanks for watching. Anyway, so now we, let's get, just get, make sure it's Barb's birthday today. Is that why you're home? I saw that on the internet. Oh, was it yesterday? Today or yesterday? I thought I saw it on Facebook. Anyway. Okay, so again, one last set of push-ups, pressing, real basic workout. We're, we're getting legs, we're getting upper body, then we're going to be on the floor doing some um, chest flies. Okay, so we're here, right here, coming in. You don't have to be too wide, you just want to make sure your wrist is underneath that elbow as you push. Okay, and you want to feel, when you push to the meaty push of your palm, you want to feel the chest. You're going to feel a little bit of the anterior delt engage, but you want it to mostly be the big muscles, okay? All right, here we go. How are we doing out there, Bob? Got a, some of my gentlemen watching today. That's awesome. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to take a little stretch while I'm standing here. A little hip stretch. Jeannie, this one's for you. Okay, I'm going to stretch during the workout. Whoo, okay. All right, now I'm just going to grab some water. I'm going to keep my camera down low because we're going to grab something. Oh, I got a little visitor in my video here. <laughs> He's sleeping. He's feeling better, thank God. Um, we just took a little quick walk because I had a faculty meeting. Didn't even get home until almost quarter four. Um, it's a little bit busy of a day. So we're going to be down here. We're going to grab something kind of moderate. And we're going to lay back and do some flies. Okay? We're doing some flies. Oh, good, Bob. Okay. So we just worked the big muscles of the pecs. Now we're going to work the insertion a little bit, the pectoralis minor, which kind of inserts underneath the arm a little bit. So grab something medium. I'm very back, grab some water. And away we go. Here's round two. Eight people watching. Thank you so much. If you're out there, say hello to me. Let me know that you're there. If you're not staying, just give me a quick hello. MC. <laughs> Have you seen Carmine? Oh my God. He's hysterical, MC. MC, I miss you. How are you? Oh, it's been a long time. Thank you so much for catching up with me. I got to download that song you sent me. So, 
Uh, MC he used to work for me for years. She's one of the greatest spin instructors, really. Beloved, really. Beloved Mary Catherine Boyoric Armstrong. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're coming back, getting some flies in. Nice to touch base with folks I haven't seen in a while. So I'm going to get my ball out of the way here. So we're going to sit like we normally do, soles of the feet on the ground, okay? So protect that low back. I've got something rather heavy here. We start with our dumbbells. I've got plates, it doesn't matter, dumbbells. And we're going to open with the elbows. And look at where my hands are, right across my nipple line, okay? So I'm opening nice and wide. So this is not a press. This is an open with the elbows, okay? So let's see if we can get... Well, let's, let's go... Well, we'll go for 10, that's fine. We'll go for 10, nothing crazy. I'm gonna actually get go a little heavier next time. So some of you out there might be able to do something. Now normally on a fly, I've only got 10s in my hands. On a fly, if I were in the gym, I'd probably use like a 20, 25 for the fly. And I use like a 35, actually I did 40s last week for chest presses. But you know, you're in a little bit more, less precarious position in a press than you are in a fly. So you always tend to do a little bit lighter in the fly, okay? All right, here we go. Now we're gonna get some, um, I see you talking to me. <laughs> I know, I know, I miss everybody. Anyway, well, you come see me sometime, MC. All right, I know that the uh, Providence uh, Animal Rescue League is happy to have you on the board, I'm sure, but maybe someday you can visit me. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do some tricep <coughs> extensions. So I'm gonna keep that same 10, but most of you are probably gonna download to something a little bit lighter. Um, this was light for me. Now I'm gonna be on my hands and knees, okay? So make sure you can see my, you might not see my face, but you can see my arm. So I'm gonna make sure I lift my hips a little bit. I want my shoulder to my elbow in line with my body, and all I'm moving is my elbow to my wrist, okay? So work in the back of the arm now, okay? Really, really extending here. We'll do 10 on each side, so we can do a little bit of a, um, a little bit of an isolation here, okay? Hey, thanks for joining me. We just got a couple more weeks, and like I said, uh, Why Without Walls, which has been such a brilliant site. It's been so helpful, I think, to people. People are so grateful, um, and so we're so grateful as instructors that you're here. Um, it's going to be transitioning to Y Cloud, so stay tuned for what you can do to be part of that, okay? All right, here we go. So again, let's get... We want the shoulder to the elbow, right in line with the body, and then the elbow to the wrist is moving, okay? So you can see the back of the arm. All right, you want to flex it. And again, make sure, now you might feel your shoulder just a little bit, but you really want to feel the back of the arm here, okay? And push. MC says, hi, Bobo. <laughs> he didn't really wake up too much, MC. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so let's go back to flies. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more weight to my uh, presses. So again, let's pick them up Ooh, and open up. So we're here, okay? Like you're clacking cymbals, open, lead with the elbows here, okay? Open like, and like you're hugging a big tree, okay? So you can get 10. Now the nice part is if you're on the ground, your elbows can't go too low, that's good, right? So you're really gonna feel, but you're not gonna actually, you know, round and, and extend and hurt the elbows or hurt the, the upper chest or the shoulders, okay? So keep, drop the shoulders nice and low away from the ears, Open, lead with the elbows. And we're just kind of lowering open and rounding like we're hugging a big barrel. Okay? All right. Coming back up. Going back for the triceps. I promised you a half an hour. I will be right on it today, okay? <laughs> oh, so here we go. And again, some good form here. Some good form. Make sure that just the elbow to the wrist is moving. Okay? Boom and the shoulder to the elbow is staying nice and tight to your body, okay? Elbows are always close on a tricep move. Now, we don't normally work our triceps. They're kind of secondary movers throughout the day as we do things. You know, when we, we're picking up kids, we're picking up groceries, we're, you know, climbing stairs or hanging onto railings. You know, there are times when, you know, our triceps might engage a little bit, but it's mostly our biceps, the front of the shoulders, although I mean the front of the arm, that tends to engage naturally as we pick things up, right, the bicep. So we really wanna make sure, you know, I'm a big proponent of front chain, back chain. It's so important for posture and to make sure that your body is, is balanced, right, from, you know, a physical standpoint. And, you know, of course, I'm such a proponent of emotional balancing too. All right, 
sometimes it's tough. Life can be throw you some some twists and turns. Let's put it that way. But you hang in, you keep moving, and we keep pushing, right? So again, I'm looking for elbow to wrist movement here, and shoulder to elbow stays fixed. Okay, just working the back of the arm, back of the arm. Woo! All right, awesome. We're gonna go one last set of. Um, then we're gonna move to a three pronged uh, shoulder workout. Okay, so hang in there. Here we go again. One last set of everything. Look at him. He is out like a light. He's out like a light, Jeannie. Does Teddy sleep during your workouts too, Jeannie? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, coming in and down. Ooh, here we go. Push. Is uh, that my couch right there? What is that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like everything's upside down. So open, nice and wide with the elbows, and keep the hands right across the chest, okay? Right across the nipple line, okay? T people tend to do this over their face. Don't do it over your face, you want to do it over your, the, the nipple line, okay? A man or a woman, you know, you've still got a nipple line. That's where you want to keep the chest, uh, chest moves, okay? All right, last set. Come here, triceps, last set. And then we're gonna readjust the camera for our shoulders, okay? So we're going here, and again, like I said, if you have a resistance ball, that would be great. Grab it or, you know, yell to a partner or one of your kids. Somebody get the resistance ball so you're ready to go, okay? I have one more set before we get there of, of something we're gonna do. Okay, so we're, again, nice, nice line here between the shoulder and the elbow staying fixed on your body, against your body, and your elbow to your wrist moving in the other direction, okay? Here we get seven people out there, I'm so excited. Thank you so much as always for joining me, especially on this pretty day, I'm gonna take a walk. Bob, did you take a walk last week after the, <laughs> just stretching, Whew. I wanna get outside and take my walk today. Boom. Whew. I didn't even really do anything but recumbent bike yesterday. And my, my heel, oh my God, I get up out of bed. You know, the problem for me is my plantar fasciitis is sneaky, <laughs> it's tricky. I get moving and I get outside, I'm like, oh, I feel good, I feel good. You know, I might do a little bit of a, a jog, although I'm not really a runner, I'm not gonna paint myself good, okay. I'm not gonna paint myself in any way as any type of runner, no, that's not true. But I do like to, you know, kind of jog and move a little bit if I'm feeling good. And I get out there and I feel good, and then, and, you know, the next day I get up out of bed and I can barely move the foot. <laughs> so I have to be careful, I have to remind myself of that pain, right? All right, let's check, get the triceps in. Triceps. All right, now I'm gonna pick my camera up. Here's where you're gonna go really, really light. This is some, a new move. We're gonna do a rotator raise, okay? So pick up some of your lightest weights right now. I'm gonna grab some water. Here's round three, okay? Here we go. So this is a new move that I probably haven't done before. I don't know, if you've done body pump, you've probably seen it. Mm. If you're out there and I don't know you're out there, say hello to me, okay? Say hello. So when I mean light, I mean light. I'm going to twos here, okay? Normally on shoulder raises, I'm, you know, like 15s, 12s. These are twos, okay? Because what you're doing is your rotator cuff right here, okay? Right in the center here. So we're going to make sure that we're nice and, um, nice and light. So it looks like this, okay? We're going to start with a side raise, and we're just going to come up. Well, we're going to come up and up. So let me see if I can get this... The other thing on this is it's a little tough to see me without going long on this move, but let me step back a little bit, okay? So it's here and you're up, rotating at the elbows. Drive up, come on back down, and then flop down this way. We're back up and up, okay? So it's a bit, now look at where my elbows are. They're just slightly lower than my shoulder base. Ro you know, just, just rotate them forward, back up, okay? And up again. Let's come to the side here so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Rotating down. Rotating up. My elbow is slightly lower than my shoulder, my elbow, okay? That's key, okay? So where are you going to feel that? Right here, okay? So this should be a really, really light, really, really light um, amount of weights. And we're going to switch to rear delts, which again is going to be something really, really light, okay? 
Oh, why did you get those weights? Oh, these are these are the body pump weights on MC. So these are these are from um, I know <laughs> these are from uh, Les Mills. They're not they're not inexpensive. It comes with a like an alligator clip bar. They clip onto a bar too, but they're nice because they're like dumbbells, but they're also plates. Um, this whole set. Oh, it retails for what's shipping. It's like 450 bucks and they're often out of unfortunately You have to go to the Les Mills site MC as if we haven't paid enough to Les Mills over the years, right? All right last set gang, okay Beautiful, um, they're often out of stock So I think they just came back in stock and they're like not I bought them maybe three or four years ago um, when We're still at Genesis and uh, I bought them on a Black Friday special. I got them for like, I don't know 230 bucks, which was a steal back then. So yeah, I know all right, well, listen, you've got all that other equipment, right? I'm coming to your house to work out. <laughs> all right, so so funny, MC, I just got to tell this funny story. I was on Facebook Marketplace the other day looking for um, a bike, and uh, it was a guy from Foster. So, I, you know, I scrolled out, looked at his name, right? And, um, hi, Mary Clement. And I looked at his name, and it said, you know, friend of Walter Armstrong. I'm like, of course he is, because there's only like four people who live in Foster, so I'm sure he's going to know you and Walter. I mean, how many people actually live in Foster? Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so anyway, so here's the rear delt. Okay, I didn't need to say I did not buy the bike, but that's okay, but it was some guy that knew Walter. So you should stay with your light weights, okay? So roll the shoulders up, back and down. This time I want you to bend forward, okay? We're bending forward, and now we're flying out, leading with the elbows just a little bit, just like we did in the fly on the ground, but we're reverse flying. Now we're working the back of the shoulder, okay? Because the, the rotator rays work kind of the front of the shoulder. Okay, so, <laughs> oh good, good. Oh nice, I'm glad you're on the bike daily. Here we go, okay. So that blade's working out for you, MC, I'm glad. You don't know how much my sister and I were kicking ourselves and we wish we'd kept some of those blades, but you know, we had to liquidate, so. All right, here we go. So again, lead with the elbows. Here it is, it's tough to see me here, but you're working the, you wanna kinda keep your head, kinda just, you know, Right, just a neutral head. You don't want to look up, but you don't want to be down either. So keep a nice long spine and the crown of head up toward the ceiling. Okay. All right. So there we go. Here's the last set. Now you could go for something a little bit heavier. Okay. I'm going to use my tens, but again, that's probably, that's probably still light for me. So now we're going to do upright rows. Okay. We're keeping our, our elbows as the leaders here and the dumbbells kind of right underneath the, underneath our chest line now. Okay. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Actually, what I was looking at an outdoor bike, MC, not a not an indoor bike. I was looking for an outdoor like a carbon fiber. And sometimes they have some good deals. But you know, it's just so alright, here we go. Round two. Alright. Sometimes, you know, they're just so expensive. The bike I really want, it's like 3200 so <laughs> my sister said, get it. I'm like, um, no, it's thirty two hundred dollars, okay? She just bought rollerblades. <laughs> Is, are rollerblades coming back? Uh, it's just, it's the riot. I'm like, my sister and I used to rollerblade 30 years ago. All right, we're rolling up. Let's get the front, the um, rotator cuff again. Here, up, down. Okay, oops, I'm sorry. Here, up, up is where we're going. Okay, close the door. Up, up. Okay, so we're really getting rotators and overheads. Okay. So we're, we're closing the door, opening the door. Here's the side view. Close the door. Look at my elbows in and overhead. Okay, now if you look at me, I'm kind of sinking low to protect the low back. So, you know, lock on the tummy, sink low, just a little bit of little athletic stance here. Okay, can you feel that, Jeannie? Are you feeling that? Okay, awesome. Now we're going to roll the shoulders up back and down. Mary Clem, it's nice to see Cliff yesterday too. I chatted alongside him on the treadmill. <laughs> I said, I said, how come you're not doing your wife's yoga class? He said, ah, that's her space. I said, oh, that's nice, okay. So we're rolling, rolling our shoulders up back and down. And again, lead with the elbows. You know what he said to me, Mayor? He said, when's your spin class? I said, oh, Thursday's at 5.30. He said, good, I'm gonna do that. I said, oh, that's nice, thank you. So that would mean the world to me if he came. And you too, Mayor. You too, actually, I may get to your Mary Clements out there. 4.30 on Mondays at our Swansea branch. And Mary, you're still at Fall River too, right? Are you at Fall River on Mondays and Wednesdays? I forgot, so it's like nine and 10 on Mondays and Wednesdays at Fall River branch, okay? So you can see Mary Clement, one of our best yoga instructors. All right, let's get the upright rows. Boom. 
Come on. So we leave at the elbow. So we're working the shoulders in many different planes here. Okay, you know the drill, right? So we're getting some, we're getting some front of the shoulders, some rear of the shoulders, and something we don't haven't done in a long time. That's that rotator raise. Okay. All right. Last set. I'm almost done. So we've got you the shoulder because the shoulder moves in so many different planes. We want to make sure that we're strong and and you know fluid in all those ranges of motion. Okay. If you need to. Let's just do a little halo. Come around, a little halo. Open up, all the shoulders, okay? And here we go. All right, you ready? Here we go. We're coming up, sides, open the door. Look at my elbows, just slightly below my shoulders. Come on up, back down, close the door. Back up and up, okay? And again, get low with the, with the body a little bit. Sink low. Sink low, sweet chariot. Who's that from? I don't even know. That's like a song from Body Pump or something. I mean, it's an old song, but... Okay, so again, nice and slow. This is not to be done fast, these rotator raises. I usually do these with a band. And I tie the band around one of the ends of one of our cable crossovers. And I do this, okay? Actually, I do these this way, okay? I don't even make that noise, but <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's do some rear delts. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Sinking back, lead with the elbows. So again, now we're getting the rear of the shoulders, giving yourself a little bit better posture, right? Okay, here's the front view of that. And again, make sure you have a nice long spine. Look, at, I'm gonna scoop my hips back, nice long spine. Keep the crown of head reaching toward the ceiling, okay? Kind of like a chair pose, where your head would be if you were doing chair pose, okay? Hey, 10 people out there, nice. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this after the fact, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to grab one more set for upright rows. And we are just about done. Okay, up. And again, look at where my hands are. No matter where I put my hands on the weights, my hands fall somewhere kind of under my chest. Okay, so all I want to do is make sure that that, that trap flexes. Okay, so you can see it. Your trap, right? Okay, can you see my trap up top there, both of them? Okay, so, you know, and you want to stand up nice and tall for this. Try not to lean forward, okay? So you really want to have some upright stability here. Now, if when you do this, you flex forward, you're coming too high, keep the weights lower. That's fine. If, it's, if, it, if, you, if you, your traps flex with the, you know, bar or plates lower, that's good. Wherever the traps flex, that's where your range of motion is, okay? All right. So, last piece. We're gonna, I'm going to grab some quick water. Irene, how are you, my friend? I know it hasn't been a great week for you either, huh? <laughs> I hope everything's going okay. Um, Bridget keeps me posted. So I'm going to use my ball, and I'm going to... Vivian, how are you, my friend? Um, I'm going to bring my ball in for crunches, but if you don't have a ball, you can just... I miss you. Um, you've been so busy lately, Vivian Rain. Um, one of the greatest trainers right there, Vivian Rain, on my, on, on my Facebook Live. Thank you so much, Vivian Rain. Um, so we're going to uh, crunch, but if you need to be on the ground, you could be on the ground just doing a regular crunch. Okay, let me just grab some water, and we are almost done. Mm. And if you, when we do the, the ball rolls, I'll give you something. You can just do a simple uh, plank, okay? Vivian, we must get together. I know Barbara thinks I've abandoned her. Um, we were supposed to get together February break. She was supposed to show me something. She wanted to... Uh, an idea she had so for a, for a podcast, <laughs> which will be happening soon. I'm really excited to try a podcast. Why not, right? I'm a computer teacher, tech, tech ed. Why not, right? Okay, so I am on, let me get this down a little bit. I'm on the ball. <laughs> I'm on the ball, right, right? That's the understatement. Okay, so I'm on the ball, and I'm just going to, people get nervous. They try to sit at the top of the ball. You want to roll down just a little bit, Okay. Um, so you want to roll down so that you, the ball is kind of on your lower back and glutes a little bit, okay? And you want to make sure that, here's my feet, okay? You want to make sure that as you roll forward, your heels are right underneath your knee base, okay? So there's no possible way for you to see my whole body, unfortunately, because I have, you know, I have this tipped upright instead of, instead of long ways. But unfortunately, as you know, I cannot move this uh, mid-Facebook Live. So we're going to start here. Look at where the ball is. That's the most important thing. Open up my hands and just come on up. Now, my, I'm not really going to move much. I'm just lifting myself off the ball. The ball shouldn't roll behind you. The ball should stay stable. That's why they call it a stability ball, okay? So, 
you're just going to come up. What's happening here? Why is this a stability ball? Because you are crunching on an unstable surface, so you're bringing in even more muscles for stability than you realize, okay? So we're just coming here, we're just going to come up and, and do 10 crunches. So come up and push your body into the ball, okay? Just lift the shoulders, tuck the chin a little bit, and look straight forward, okay? So you're going to feel the upper abs directly engaging, but there are so many other muscles like the quads, the glutes, the obliques that will engage at the same time, okay? Now, here's the second thing. This one's a funny one. So this one I call um, ball roll. So if you've ever seen the wheel, right? I think everyone needs that, right? It's a little wheel thing and it has little handles on the side and you roll it forward and roll back and try not to face plant. We're going to create that same motion with the ball, okay? But there are a few quick tips I want to show you. Now, if you don't have a ball, you can just do a basic plank. Not a problem. Why don't you stay in plank while we do this, okay? Because you're going to get similar muscles coming through, okay? So we're going to start with the ball. You've got to kind of extend your hands out in prayer. Don't start with the ball too close because you're going to end up rolling onto your elbows and popping your elbows. You don't want to do that, okay? We don't want any elbow popping. So bring the ball out like this. Bring the ball out to the extent of your arm. So get your fingertips on the ball, okay? So I'm going to show you this way so you can see me, okay? And you're going to get your hands in prayer position. Roll onto your forearms, okay? And try to get yourself flat, okay? Your bum should not be up. Push into the forearms and pull the ball back. So push the forearms, pull the ball back. Don't pull from your bum or you're going to hurt your back. Okay, so let's try that again. So we extend our hands out to the edge of the ball here. We roll onto the forearms, okay, and we push in and pull back. Let's see if I can get a side angle here so you can see. Let me do it this way so I don't kick Carmi. Yes, you, you schmutton. All right, here we go. So we're coming here, okay, so you can see where I start, okay. Roll onto the ball. Look at, look at how flat my back is. My elbows are on the ball. I push from the forearms and kind of roll the ball back. Okay, here we go, a couple more times. Okay, and roll the ball back. And look at how, how I drop my hips a little bit here. Okay, so we don't want the hips in the air. So the push comes from, the, the ab engagement comes from pushing the forearms and pulling the ball back. Okay, can you feel that? Now, if you were here in plank, that's fine too, whatever you think. Okay, I'm gonna do one more set because I promised you a half an hour and I'm coming right up on uh, 5.30, so let's go one more time. We're gonna sit. I'm going to roll my feet forward just a little bit so you can see my feet underneath me here, okay, and crunch up. So you want to have a little bit of the top of your glutes and your low back on the bulb. Everyone's different, depends on how long your torso is, right? As long as your heel is right underneath your, your knee, okay? You don't want the ball to go flying behind you, so you're just sitting up and pushing into the ball with your lower back and your glutes, okay? So again, this is not a hard move. But people get so nervous with it, and I see, you know, fear in faces of clients all the time, um, you know, and it's just, and, and you know, here's another thing, don't try to do this and sit up, roll up, use your legs, roll, and sit up onto the top. Just that as a move for some of my seniors that I've done, sit on the ball, roll yourself down, okay, roll yourself down. If, you, if you're sitting on the ball, it's not going to go anywhere, okay. All right, last set of rolls, okay, so you don't have any rolls, <laughs> just kidding, that was, that was a free joke, okay, so we're going to come here, rolling onto our forearms, and again, push forward, now if you need a towel or a mat so you don't hurt your knees, because this can be a little tough on the knees, I'm on my rug, honestly, I feel okay, but you want to extend the hands out, don't try to have the ball too close, because then you're going to roll onto your elbows, and you're going to hurt yourself, okay, so get it out in front of you, roll onto the forearms, push, and pull backwards, look at mine, let me get a little closer to him, okay, we're rolling. It's dangerous. He's, he's going to snap at me in any moment. <laughs> Don't get mad, baby. So we come out. He gets mad when I vacuum, so I try not to ever vacuum. No, I'm just kidding. I vacuum every week. But I put him on top of my bed so he doesn't, doesn't uh, get nervous and start barking. All right, so let's come on up. One foot in front of us. Push the hips forward. You can feel it. Send the hands up overhead if you'd like. Really feel the, the hips stretch. Let's go to the other side. Jeannie, how are you doing out there? You've been so quiet. Are you still out there, Jeannie? Ooh, beautiful. All right, let's open. Turn the thumbs down if you can, okay? And now let's bring the hands behind and open. Really, really kind of lift up, okay, to the chest a little bit if you can. Let's get some inner thighs too because we did a lot with glutes and inner thighs. So let's get one foot to the side, okay, and stretch. 
Feel the inner thighs, feel the hamstrings a little bit. Let's get the other side, stretch. Okay, we can get the inner thighs. I'm up on my heel, if you wanna do that, you're gonna feel the hamstring engage too. If you want to, let's stretch calves a little bit. I'm just extending, so I'm gonna come here and just, right, on my toe. Okay, so you guys can see me on my toe, stretch. Okay, and again, let's get triceps in. We need a lot with triceps. Oh good, Jeannie, I was getting nervous. I hadn't heard from you, it was so quiet. Usually you're always talking to me. So stretch the wrists a little bit, if you want to. Beautiful, and uh, what was the last thing I was gonna do? Oh, uh, hips. So I'm gonna stand up for just a minute here, okay? And this is what we call a figure four. Okay, if you need to hang on to something, you can. Just cross a leg and sit back and open up those hips, because we did a lot with the hips in the beginning, okay? If you wanna put your hands up, you can, for Mary Clement, we can do a little bit of a figure four uh, chair pose. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna send my right ankle over my left knee, sit back, Really feel the hip open here, okay? If you need to hang on to something, you want to put your arms up, whatever, feel the hip open. And thank you so much. Gang, thank you so much. Again, I've got two more classes before we will be transitioning to Y Cloud. I don't know, you know, if I'll be teaching or what time, so, um, you know, stay tuned. I'll hopefully have some answers for you on April 13th. So I'll see you next Tuesday and the following Tuesday. And, uh, and again, thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart, from all the instructors across all genres, wear him. Um, uh, Dartmouth, New Bedford, um, Swansea, Fall River, obviously. Um, you know, we thank you and, uh, you know, we hope you'll join us for uh, Y Cloud as well, okay? Or join us at one of our Y branches, whichever one's closest to you, okay? Any questions, just pop them in the comments or personal message me. Many of you can reach me personally, so. All right, have a good week. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter, happy Passover, you know, whatever. Um, I know Passover is really a happy time, nor is Easter. We say happy, but of course it's, we say um, enjoy your holiday. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, okay? Jeannie, I'll see you Thursday. Some of y'all see, don't forget, I mean, uh, Saturday. Don't forget Thursday at 5.30 in Swansea, I teach a spin class, so come join me, okay? I think it opens, actually it just opened at 5.30, so you need to go on Group X Pro. If you need that link, let me know if you want to join me. So I had a full house last week, but... Um, you know, hopefully we'll have some bikes open for you. All right, take care, be good, stay safe. I got both of my vaccines. Hopefully I'm, I'm good to go. See you next week, okay?